Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for another Inspired Saturdays video. I hope you'll stick around, see who inspired me this week and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to Inspired Saturdays, I'll tell you a little bit about it before I get started. Just about every Saturday, I like to team up with another crafty YouTuber to be inspired by each other. I create a video here inspired by something they created and then you'll click on the link at the top of the description box below to go see how I inspired them. This week I am being inspired by Sierra of Sierra T Designs. If you don't already follow her here on YouTube or over on Instagram, you're going to want to do that right away. I had such a hard time figuring out which project I was going to take inspiration from because she has some beautiful work. I will have her YouTube channel and her Instagram account linked in the description box below. I did decide though on a card and I will pop it up on screen here. It is this beautiful navy and gold Christmas card. I love the gold embossing, the splattering, the extra inking, just everything about it. She has a video here on her YouTube channel where she shows you the process of how she made the card and she has lots of great embossing tips. So I will also link directly to that video in the description box below. But don't forget, when you're done with my video today, you're going to hop on over to her channel to see how I inspired her and what she has created. That video is linked at the top of the description box below. For my project today, I'm going to keep it a little simpler. I won't be doing any inking or splattering, but I'm going to try to get the same effect with something I printed out and some gold foil with my laminator. Because I just like that big bold word in the center of her card. I'm going to be creating a New Year's card because let's face it, who does not want 2021 to get here as soon as possible as long as it brings us better times, right? And when I think of New Year's cards, I think of black and gold and silver. So what I have done is I have created a Happy New Year printable that I printed onto this black card stock. Now you might be thinking, I don't see anything, Alicia, but I promise you it is there. It's almost like magic getting to see what you think is just a black piece of card stock turned into a pretty design. As I get into the process, I'll let you know about any products or tools that I add, but if I leave you with any questions, as always, leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I got started by bringing in a piece of black cardstock and cutting and folding this in half for two card bases. Then I brought in two scraps of white cardstock and I cut those down to five and a quarter inches wide by four inches tall. This way I can write on the inside of those black cards and the recipient can actually see it. This is the sheet with the printing on it and I went ahead and cut this into four even pieces. You'll see later I do cut this down just a little bit. I did bring in a piece of gold foil paper and cut it down for a couple mats for my card front, but you'll see later, once again, that I actually didn't end up using these. To do my foiling today, I am using a roll I got on Amazon years ago. I'm not sure I'll ever use this gold foil in my lifetime, but I like a deal and it was cheaper than other options. I cut this down so I would have two pieces that fit over the printing on each of the card stocks. And then to run it through my laminator, I brought in just a plain piece of white printer paper and folded that in half for a little folder to send it through. 
To do my foiling, I use an Amazon Basics laminator. Mine is actually the ledger size, so it fits pieces that are 11 inches wide, but you can buy smaller ones there. I turned on mine quite a bit before I started this and put it on the five mil setting so it would have the hottest temperature and the most pressure. I ran that through once and then I flipped it around and ran it through once again. Now is when the magic happens. Once those are both through, I then peeled back the foil and you can see that now where the toner was on my print, it is now foiled in gold. I will tell you that it's much more impressive in person. For some reason, the lights and the camera don't pick it up quite as well. Now that the foiling is done, I brought back in my trimmer and trimmed both of these pieces down. This first piece I cut a quarter inch off all sides and the second one I ended up cutting off three eighths of an inch from all sides. It's just cut in a little bit tighter. I mentioned earlier that when I think of New Year's I think of black and gold and silver. So now I'm going to add some silver embossing to these cards. For my stamp, I'm using the Stamps by Judith Dots Peg stamp. This just gives a splatter effect without making a mess. I will be stamping it with Versamark ink and then again embossing that with some silver embossing powder. I do make sure before each time that I bring my stamp to the cardstock that I have applied some of the embossing buddy so that my powder only sticks to where I want it to. I stamped and added powder next to each of the fireworks in the background and I did the same process for both cards before I brought in my heat tool to heat set that powder. Now I always warm up my embossing tool about 30 seconds off camera before I bring it in and melt the powder. Here's a close up look of that silver embossing. Because that powder does kind of make the black cardstock look a little gray, I did just bring in a blending brush and I wiped off that excess powder. I know in Sierra's original tutorial video, she uses a microfiber cloth. I decided there was a little too much gold if I used that gold foil cardstock. So I got some textured silver foil cardstock out of my stash and cut down a couple of pieces that for matting. Now that all of the pieces of the card were ready, I could go ahead and put those together. The focal point got matted with that silver and this got placed flat down onto the card front. Then I made sure to get that piece of white cardstock on the inside for my personal message. And here's a close up look at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made these quick and easy foil and embossed New Year's cards. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go visit Sierra's video and see what she created today. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.